Hey guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel. Today I'm going to talk about okay some of the easiest ways to actually compute okay the uh, cross product of two vectors. All right, so I'm going to teach you a really simple and easy way to actually calculate. So how do we do so? Well, let us find out. So let's say for example, okay, I have two vectors. Vector A is four two five, and vector B is negative zero two. And I want to find out the cross products of the two vectors. All right. So first thing, what I do is that okay, I cover the first row. All right. So remember, cover the first row. Okay, and do the cross product, all right? So I will take 2 times 2 minus 5 times 0, all right? So there's 2 times 2 minus 5 times 0, okay? All right, the next thing I will do is to cover the second row and do a cross product. So I will take 4 times 2 minus 5 times uh, negative 1. So this is actually 5, all right? 5 times negative 1. All right, and last but not least, I will cover the third row, and then I will do a cross multiply. So that will be four times zero minus two times negative one. And of course, last but not least, for the second row of your answer, okay, you have to do a bracket. All right, you have to do a bracket, and after that, put a negative sign in front. All right, do a, then after that, you solve the whole. Um, problem itself so 4 2 times 2 is 4 minus 5 times 0 is 0 so that will be 4 minus 0 is 4 and for this bracket so 4 times 2 is 8 minus 5 times negative 1 is uh, negative 5 so this whole bracket itself is 8 plus 5 all right so that will be 13 and negative 13 all right uh, because the minus sign is out there and last but not least 4 times 0 is 0 minus 2 times negative 1, all right? It gives you negative 2, but with a minus in front of that, it gives you 2. All right, so this is a the final answer, all right? So, it is very simple. It's a very simple trick, okay, as to how you actually compute the cross product, okay, of two vectors. So, what you need to do is cover the first row, okay, take this, okay, take the multiplication of this, minus away this times this. And then cover the second row, okay? Take 4 times 2 minus 5 times negative 1. And last but not least, cover the third row. Take 4 times 0 minus 2 times negative 1. And of course, don't forget, last but not least, you have to put a negative sign in your answer, okay? Uh, to the second uh, row, okay? Which is the Y representative. And last but not least, compute and get the answer which is 4 negative 13 and 2 that's about it from me bob okay if you guys got uh, any comments uh, do comment in the comment section below i'm bob signing off from here thank you guys for watching and hope this really helps you, you know instead of the whatever uh, what a1 a2 a3 this is very confusing this is how i actually do my cross product in a very intuitive way and i will see you in the next video goodbye guys